seen Romancing the Stone, uh, where the evil guy, what's his name, Zero or something, and every time they see him in, in South America, he's wearing a new uniform? That's how real tyrannies work. They're CIA, they're FBI, they're InfraGuard, they're clergy response, they're corporate. They've got the highest security clearances. When they open up their wallet, it's just badges falling out of everything they can do. All of it illegal. All of it criminal. In the last three years, we've gone from George W. Bush lying and saying we do not spy on any Americans without warrants. We only look at foreign intel with the NSA to him being admittedly a liar, to Congress saying, okay, well, you can have limited spying without warrants if it's foreign intel coming in to domestic phone lines. Again, where's my Washington Post article? I just had it uh, here in front of me in the stack where they just come right out and says, hey, the White House proposes everything in real time, any computer records we want, You've got to turn them over to us. You've got to save all your computer records forever indefinitely. And anybody's private computer we want into, we're going to go into it under Cybersecurity Act. That's all this is. That's all this is. All ISPs, even down to small ISPs that have 100 customers, and all private computers will have software that, 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 that tracks everything you do and censors what you can see. This makes the East German Stasi, the greatest police state on earth, look like choir boys. This is child's play, what went on in the 60s, 70s, and 80s in East Germany. That horrible fusion of the Nazis and the communists when the Soviets took over in 1945 uh, East Germany. White House proposal would ease FBI access to records of Internet activity. The Obama administration is seeking to make it easier for the FBI to compel companies to turn over records of an individual Internet activity without a court order if agents deem the information relevant to a terrorist or intelligence or intelligence investigation. What does the Violent Belligerence Act say? It says, oh, we're going to fight terrorists. And for any reason fighting terrorism, the Pentagon, the Justice Department can secretly arrest citizens and give you enhanced interrogation, that's torture, and have you disappear forever with no trial, and only an act of Congress can even find out where you are. And you don't believe me, go read the bill. I've had Ron Paul on about it and Napolitano. They've concurred with my analysis. But it says, if we think you may be a terrorist, or for any intelligence purpose. And so whether it's cybersecurity, which passed out of committee, or whether it's the Violent Belligerence Act, it's all the same wording. This is all an integrated, complete takeover. And now they've got paid private mercenaries in plain clothes, including shorts and shirts, to make it look shocking to people. Grabbing people and putting them in dark blue and black vans, throwing bags over their heads. Rob Dew was in a military base, an old armory they were using as a prison, in Pittsburgh, when he got arrested at the G20 for filming, for filming, the arrest is on tape. He was on a hillside filming arrest. They came up and said, come here, you're going to jail. And when he got there, he saw people being taken off trucks with bags on their heads. Now, what did you see at the G20? What did you see at the G20 in, 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 in Toronto a month ago? You saw people, random activists, grabbed by, by men in plain clothes, throwing them into vans and bags being put over their head. They're just getting you acclimated get right out in front of you to see... People being grabbed off the streets with bags being put over their head. You're being acclimated that, okay, the CIA puts out fake videos. What you going to do about it? Okay, the CIA runs your local police department. What you going to do about it? And they're training the police officers to lock down cities and do door-to-door -door gun confiscations. That's admitted in Illinois, in New York, and in Austin, Texas. And they've got military checkpoints all over the country where they tell the, the, the locals, oh, it's a drunk driving checkpoint, the Marines are helping. Or there was a shooting, our Marines are on the streets. This is a complete, long-term, strategic corporate takeover. While the banks took over the states, the cities, while they got the cities to invest in derivatives, while they paid everybody off, while they got their own police chiefs and sheriffs in position, they've got their people in position, the population's waking up and getting upset, we're trying to get good sheriffs elected, we're supposed to run the country. We're the people. We're supposed to vote. We're trying to get good mayors in. We're trying to get good governors in, good legislators in. And the feds are saying, if you're for states' rights, you're a violent terrorist that wants to kill cops. 
See, we recognize the covert, long-term strategic takeover. Now they're bankrupting us. We always said the full takeover would happen when they instituted the Depression. We're now going into the Depression. They're now rolling all this out publicly that they quietly built over 30-plus years. I have tracked this back and told you exactly what was going on for 15 years on air. Not because I'm smart, but because I researched the information and I studied history. And let me tell you, what I saw the Soviets do in history and the Nazis and the Chi Coms and Pol Pot is exactly what's going on, but literally a hundred times more sophisticated and more patient. These globalists, when they bring America down full, fully, they want to make sure they win. Because if they don't win, they are going to go down. They're all in, they're committed, and none of you are safe unless you fight back. If you cower and think, well, I'll sit on the sidelines and play it safe. If you take the middle road, if you sit on the fence, if you're a spectator, that's what they're counting on. They are going to win. But if you become a leader and start speaking out at city council, calling in to talk radio, exposing your local police chief as a government spook, if you start exposing the real paradigm and if other officers start speaking out and if people who understand what's happened start speaking out, and that's starting to happen. I mean, just Ron Paul, what, four months ago in a big speech said the CIA had a coup in 63. They shipped the drugs in and were completely run by the CIA. Just like a third world country being overthrown, we've been overthrown. You know, what did Chuck Baldwin say here two days ago? Exactly what I just said. What is? What are all the real minds out there saying? They're finally concurring with my analysis because it's out in the open. And, and I don't blame some people for thinking I was a kook 15 years ago. Most people haven't read over 100 books about World War II. Most people haven't read declassified 300-page long secret dossiers on Adolf Hitler. Most people haven't read secret dossiers that have been declassified on Joe Stalin. Most people haven't read secret Pentagon dossiers on the Masonic movement in Germany and how powerful that was and how they were using it for intel. Most people didn't happen to pick up a history book when they were 12 and go, man, this is entertaining. But it was only entertaining until I was about 17, and then I started recognizing everything I'd read in history happening. Now, I recognize this from 100 miles away. This isn't 100 miles away. This is in your face. This is shoving you right now, shoving you down in your seat saying, yeah, it's a tyranny. You better not talk about America. You better not talk about the Bill of Rights. Better not talk about the founders. Better not talk about states' rights. Better not talk about not wanting government health care. Better not talk about not liking the Federal Reserve. The Army's watching you. You better not come out to a Tea Party. The Army's there with sound cannons and microwave guns. Yeah, you're being watched. We got pre-crime. Sit down and shut up while they take the dead veterans insurance policies all of it they're so confident they're in the news taking the dead vets money riders on the storm riders on the storm into this house we're born there is no doubt it is a 100 percent fact that incredibly corrupt mega banks that own the military industrial complex that control the intelligence agencies they founded them are in control of our society and have stolen 28 trillion from october 3rd 2008 until january of this year we haven't gotten new numbers in about seven months Bloomberg and AP reported in January 28 trill, 28 trill, 28 trill. You can just search the term 23.7 trillion missing, uh, bailout now 23.7, bailout now 28 trillion. And you can pull those articles up for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, They've created over 600 trillion in fake derivatives, according to the Washington Post. Our economists all concur it's over 1.5 quadrillion, and that number is seven or eight months old. They have created hundreds of times more money than there is assets. Okay? They did a strategic plan for 30 years, profiting with scams as they took over towards the mega scam. And I, I can't even believe this Bloomberg report, even though I was aware of some of it, that that they take the insurance policies, 400000 500000 a million dollars, from the widow of dead vets. I mean, it's all here. 15-page report. 
I'm going to cover it later. If I have time, it's 15 pages. 15 pages. And they're in there going, yes, it's illegal, but they run the regulators. No one can stop them. They changed the regulations so they could do this. I mean, <laughs> they either took out insurance in people's names and kept it, or they just took people's insurance. Your husband or your son dies, and then they take the money. Does that show you how bold these people are? Does that show you how dangerous they are? Does that show you that the sky's the limit? Police, listening to me, the government is totally evil. They give you all these cover stories for why you do what you do. But you know they're teaching you that the public's dangerous and wants to kill you and you've got to crack our heads and keep control of us and be in control of the situation. And they're saying you're not going to respond to many crimes, but you're just there to raise money and be tax collectors and revenue generators. They lie about having quotas, but now they admit, yeah, we've got quotas for money. I'm so sad that America's dying. And if there is an awakening now to just how bad it is, we've got a chance to turn the tide. But look how the bankers robbed us in the last two years. And then just last week passed the financial takeover bill to give the Federal Reserve total anonymity, total autonomy, total power over everything economic. Now, let's see them try to enforce it. They may have passed campaign finance reform six years ago saying I, as a talk show host, can't tell you how politicians voted six weeks before an election. But everybody just ignores it. You know, they can claim they're God. It's kind of like the Supreme Court ruling that black people weren't humans or were three-fifths human. Black people knew they were humans, and they just said, I'm not going to let you say I'm not human. I'm tired of being your slave. And the abolitionists that were 1% of the population in 1800, by 1860s, slavery was over. They just brought in new forms of slavery, though. You've got to, when these crooks tell you, I'm going to take your pension fund, I'm going to take your insurance money, I'm going to raise taxes, I'm going to charge you for rainwater collection, I'm going to put toll roads on your existing roads. No, you stinking offshore criminal! Oh, man. It, it just, it even shocks me how bold they are. We're going to break. I want to remind you this special ends Monday. You can get four copies of the Obama deception for 1995. That's four copies, one for yourself, three to give away. The most powerful film out there exposing the globalist. Part two of it, Fall the Republic, Infowars.com. We've also got a donate button at the bottom of Infowars.com. A lot of people ask, well, I just want to say they want to donate. Well, it's at the bottom of Infowars.com on the right-hand side. Whatever you do, get the books, the videos, the T-shirts. They're all available at Infowars.com. God bless you for your support. Back in 70 seconds.